matter what, we come together for the good of our constituents, and I'm proud and honored to lead the People's House in New York State Legislature. The health and protection of the human beings that live in our districts is our responsibility. Dr. Douglas's words for us today, I quote, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. If you want equity to happen, then this is where it happens. All of us have a responsibility to the greater good. The House will come to order. Welcome to Assembly Update. I'm your host, Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara, and I'm very excited to have a good friend on our show uh, for this segment today, uh, Mel Oliveira from uh, my hometown of Rotterdam. Welcome, Mel. Thank you, Angelo. Mel good comes to comes to us from the Rotterdam Elks Lodge, 2157, uh, which I'm a member of. Uh, yep. He's the past district deputy grand exalted ruler. Uh, you've held a number of positions uh, yep. throughout the lodge, and I know you help out a lot, uh, and I'm very pleased to have you on the show. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. We were just talking about uh, the Rotterdam Lodge and all the, the wonderful events and uh, fundraising that happens there. And uh, I wanted to have this opportunity, uh, sort of as, as we head into the new year, uh, to talk about all the things happening uh, for members out there. A lot of times, I find that uh, people are members of the Elks Lodge and may, may not know exactly what you know all the events that, that are happening there. They may know of some of them, but I want to mm -hmm. just refresh on some of the things that happen throughout the year. Yep. Uh, but uh, we uh, we want to start with uh, you know what does membership entail and uh, you know how how difficult is it to even become a member? What's the process? Well, it's not very difficult if you happen to know an elk. Yeah. They can sponsor you into the organization. Um, you know, we have to, you have to be an American citizen over the age of 21, believe in God, those are the three main criteria, but once you, uh, you get sponsored by a member, you go through a quick process and you become a member. And then at, once you become a member, it's up to you as to what your journey through Elkdom is about. And, uh, and that's what I like about the Elks is uh, it's no one thing, uh, it's, it's many things, mm -hmm. and they're all somehow connected to our community. And uh, I've been a part of the fundraising, I've been a part of the events, and I've gotten to see sort of the, the whole picture of it. Uh, but the one thing I've noticed recently, and it's a slogan on the sign, enjoy your lodge. Mm -hmm. uh, and one thing I didn't realize, and I, I should realize, is that on most nights you can just, you can go in and access the lodge, and there are people there, whether it's in the bar area or the, uh, the dining area. Yep. Uh, there's, it doesn't have to be something going on for you to enjoy the lodge. Correct. Correct. There's always something going on, yeah. I mean, especially at Rotterdam Lodge, we're rather busy. <laughs> and a lot of lodges throughout the whole country have things going on. Um, one of the things I like to say is every lodge is unique. Rotterdam Lodge has bocce courts, some lodges have bowling alleys like Albany Lodge, other lodges have their own hotel or their own swimming, swimming pool. So, you know, you get your experience out of Elkdom based upon the lodges that you visit. And, and the uh, the charitable uh, component, and I have been on the bocce courts this year, just so you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I am in the basement when you guys are upstairs. Yep. Uh, one of the one of the unique things also is uh, it's the fundraising isn't just one particular uh, category. Uh, right. It reaches you know veterans, children, uh, you know people with disabilities, which is something we could talk about because a Center for Disability Services is one yep. of your beneficiaries. Uh, let, let's talk about all those charities and how. Uh, people participate and the community participates because of what the Elks does. Right. So the lodges in New York State, we every state in the country has a charitable organization with what they call their major project. In New York State, that major project is the Center for Disability Services, primarily helping raise money for the home visiting services uh, to help the kids who have CP, young adults, you know, get them to their appointments and, and such. Um, we also have the Elks National Foundation, which is our national charitable uh, arm. And that, you can raise money for the Elks National Foundation. Money goes to hoop shoot, soccer shoot, to drug awareness programs for youth, to veterans organizations, helping them out. Um, every lodge can get grants through the Elks National Foundation. Rotterdam actually got a, uh, three grants this year for a total of $9,000 to help out in the community. But lodges all over the country are doing the same thing. Um, we also have a very large scholarship program through the Elks National Foundation for Kids where 500 scholarships are given out a year and they're very competitive. 
very competitive. In <coughs> fact, the money, the dollars give it out to the Elks National Foundation is uh, only second to the U.S. government in the amount of money we hand out to our kids. So it's very, very big focus on the community, the kids in the community, the veterans in the community, and uh, helping them out. And it's amazing. And the lodge, uh, you know, what's also amazing is the lodge kind of runs itself. There's volunteers uh, yep. that do all the events. So when something's happening, people show up. Uh, I got to give a shout out to the kitchen crew. I know we got a great picture to share. Yep. Yeah, they're right over there. <laughs> uh, I took that. I think that was that the Mahanison. We're very, band? very busy. That might have been the Mahanison event there. Uh, yes. Yep. So I, I, I always stop back to thank uh, you guys in the kitchen because it's a lot of work back there. It is. And sometimes, I, I mean, the Christmas, uh, the Christmas party we had, it was a lot of people there. And trying yep. to, you know, it's, it's never easy to serve a large uh, a group of people, but you guys get it done and it's all volunteer. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, we support our local schools. As you saw the picture from Mahanas in there, um, we had the Pop Warner Football League there a couple weeks ago. Two shifts, so almost 600 people that we serve for a nice breakfast and fundraiser. So we're always helping the local schools out. We have Santa for the kids. Yep. And uh, we just saw the Christmas baskets uh, that we, uh, we we delivered to local yes, residents. Actually, yes. we had an assembly line for that. Part of our Elks National Foundation program grants was that the uh, kids Christmas party, the um, 40 food baskets that go to families during Thanksgiving, and 40 food baskets that go to families during Christmas along with some gifts for all of the kids. What they a wonderful really way enjoy it. to support the community. And, uh, and I'm, I'm just very, I'm happy to be a part of it. I was uh, yep. an elk long before uh, I was ever elected to office and I, I'm still an elk today. I think I'm approaching 20 years. You got me beat. Was, yeah. We just talked about just this. Just a couple you're over, years. You're over 20, 20 <laughs> years, but I'm approaching 20 years. Uh, but I'm very proud to be, uh, to be a, a, a member of the elks and I think it, uh, it speaks to all the needs in our community. Uh, one of the things I want to bring up, uh, I know we got a local event coming up which is called Italian Night, which we'll talk about in a second, but I do want to talk about the convention. Uh, well, the, the one convention just happened uh, at the uh, Mary, at the, not the Mary, at the... Uh, um, at the Desmond. The Desmond, yes. yes. <clears throat> and I yes. stopped in on that. Tell us about that convention. Yeah, so we have <clears throat> twice a year within New York State, we have a spring convention, which is our annual meeting, so to speak, for the Elks within New York State Elks Association. And then we have our fall conference. Um, spring convention is typically about the third week of May. Uh, that's at the Villa Roma. The fall conference, the last several <coughs> years, we've had it right here at the Desmond in Albany. And anyone who's an elk can come to it, learn about elkdom. We have a lot of workshops where a lot of the uh, state committee chairs give out information with regard to their programs. Uh, <coughs> I know you were able to join us at this last one to talk about our major project. And, and had Michael there as well. I and had I my think son. He really yeah. enjoyed it. Yep. It was it was fitting that he was there. We talked about uh, kids with disabilities and uh, different yep. things that the Elks has done to support uh, and fundraising. Uh, so it was it was very meaningful for for me as a family, for us as a family, to uh, uh, to hear that the Elks uh, is involved with uh, charities like that. Yep. Uh, and I think it's, I think it's meaningful to a lot of families. Um, okay. So let's talk about uh, <clears throat> the well. The Broader Name Lodge is actually is it the largest? It's the largest or it's we're, up there. We're in the top five. <coughs> we're in the yeah. top five in the state. We, okay. We, we were the there. largest, but uh, oh, you yeah. were, we Remember were the largest. I remember for yeah. And, that, and <coughs> that's a, a, a big point of Elkdom. Um, one of the graphics that you show is our membership numbers and our goals for the year. Yeah, let's talk and, about that. And, uh, you know, Rotterdam Lodge, along with a lot of lodges in the state, are really pushing to try to, try to grow membership. Um, every year we set a, a goal for a plus two membership in every lodge. Um, so, you know, unfortunately we have an older membership in our lodge, so we have to accommodate for, you know, losing a few members, but yeah. we push to gain, gain new members and that helps us with our growth. In the last couple of years across the whole country, Elkdom has had a positive growth and we want to keep well, that's pushing that forward. Yeah. Yep. And this says invite two of your friends to join your lodge this year. So yep. just uh, the idea is just get two people, exactly. bring them in and, and you can sponsor them yep. uh, and get them to join. Uh, and I do have a couple of new members. I'm going to be, I'm going to be hopefully sponsoring soon. Very good. Uh, and I know my chief of staff is off, off camera here. She's a new member as well. Uh, but, uh, but this goal is uh, all the way to March, right? March 31st. Correct. Okay, so there's still time to do that. Yeah. Uh, so if you are a member, if you're watching, or if you want to join, uh, the, and people can jo fill out the application online. Uh, Correct. You can go to join.elks.org. 
um, and there is the online application. If you go to elks.org itself, that's the main website for Grand Lodge. A lot of great information out there. But uh, yeah, join.elks.org and you can fill out a basic application which gets sent to the lodge closest to where you live and then they reach out to you. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know there's a lot of events, uh, as many of them involve good food. Uh, mm -hmm. And we do have to talk about Italian night that's coming <laughs> up. I, I am going to be helping out in the kitchen as I, I, I have in the past. And I think it's more fun to actually uh, help out in the kitchen than it is to actually be out on the other side because uh, you get to see all the food being prepared, which I really enjoy. Yep. And uh, our uh, good friend Vito Caruso will be on hand. He will. Okay. Uh, tell us about what's going to happen. Now, so just January... January 20th, 20th that's yep. our Italian night. It's one of our biggest events of the year, food-wise. Um, where Vito Caruso, the honorable, uh, you know, retired now yeah. Supreme Court judge, he puts on this great extravaganza of Italian food. I mean, the appetizers, the hors d'oeuvres that come out, the antipasta, and then the meal, typically two or three main meals are all mixed in there. Uh, we'll have up to 300 people in the room for a nice Italian night dinner. And the lodge loves it. Vito loves putting it on for the membership, and uh, we'll get people from all across the state who will come visit Rotterdam Lodge for Italian night. Now you say it's the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, events of the year, uh, and I, I think it gets sold out pretty quickly, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so, it does. So if you want tickets. Yep, tickets are on sale for it now. And <laughs> tickets if you are want on tickets, sale. Yes, definitely get them. Uh, in addition <laughs> to that, uh, we, don't have, we don't have too much time left, but I, there are other events throughout the year and, and it's, it's just like every time I get the newsletter, there's a bunch yeah. of things happening. Is there a few that you want to mention uh, just throughout the year that people should be aware of coming up? Yeah. I mean, every lodge has their events. Like I said, you can go to elks.org and find out about lodges in your area. I know the outreach of this message goes to several lodges. And in the state capital district, we have a lot of lodges yeah. to go to. Um, but uh, our deck parties will start up at the end of May, go through the entire summer. The proceeds of those deck parties go to our major project. So that's always a nice thing to do. You're by just by coming to the lodge and enjoying the camaraderie, you're supporting our major project. Um, we have during uh, Lent, we'll have our fish fries that will also support oh, yes. our major project. Yes. So My and then there's loves. other events all throughout the year. Uh, and the newsletter is, as I said, is uh, full of the calendars, full of events, full of things happening. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just uh, very pleased to have uh, this lodge uh, in our, in my district, in my assembly district. That's the yep. other two. I have three lodges now: the Scotia Glenville and Amsterdam yep. Lodge as Good. well. So I'm very pleased that I have three now. Uh, but they all, they're all doing great work, uh, and they all. Uh, support our community in so many ways. Um, there's always volunteer opportunities, people that can help out, they can uh, apply for membership, or they can come check out the lodge uh, during, uh, 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 during I guess, not official meetings, but they can come out and check out the lodge if they're not members. Well, correct. Uh, yeah, we always, we'll have open houses every now and then for member, for people who are looking to become members. Yeah. And if you know somebody who's a member, you know, hook up with them, ask them to invite you to the lodge, come to see what the lodge is about, and then uh, ask them for an application. And I will be uh, there next week in the basement to play bocce, continue the league downstairs. Yep. <laughs> I, I never knew those were down there, but I'm having a lot of fun down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a great group of people uh, to play bocce. I really enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, happening. I know there's some renovations underway in the main ballroom, some new lights, uh, new floor. So uh, if you haven't been to the lodge in a while, come check out the improvements. Uh, there's always improvements being done. And if you look at the history of that lodge, improvements have uh, come in all sizes. But it makes for a wonderful, Correct. wonderful center for us uh, here in our, in our wonderful Rotterdam community. Um, oh, yeah. So we're just about out of time, but I want to thank you for being on the show. I'm going to see you back home. Uh, at some point, uh, but I want to thank you for all the work you do. You've held many positions in the lodge, uh, many uh, different positions yep. in, in, a, in official capacity, uh, but you're always there to volunteer and to help, and I really appreciate that. Thanks for supporting our lodge and supporting our community. Yep, definitely. I appreciate appreciate you uh, taking the time and allowing me to be here and get our message out there. Thanks. Uh, join us again here on Assembly Update, where we'll talk more about great things going on in our community, uh, just like the wonderful work Mel uh, Oliveira talked about today with the Rotterdam Elks Lodge 2157. Join us again.